like four different people say what you're doing, and at some point Isabella just says, do I even need to be here? <laughs> and anyway, that, that's, she's very, very, she feels a lot of ownership for that phrase. I was, I was also wondering what your favorite, what each of your favorite episodes were. Um, mine keeps changing, probably right now it's Finding Mary McGuffin. Uh, I'm still going to go with the, getting the band back together. I love it. I, I really liked our Christmas special. Um, I, I thought that was really funny, and we had a lot of good jokes in there. And hour longs are always really special, so that was cool. Yeah. I like being Lindana because I lied to everyone to tell them yes. I'm really singing. And there's a whole Lindana episode coming out. Who is sings Lindana? Who that's, is she? That's actually Olivia Olson who plays <laughs> Vanessa. You, you could have just said it was you. We I totally lied to people because it was me, but yeah. I was just curious who it was. Yes. Oh me. Oh. Yes, you're <laughs> Well, uh, I, think one of, I think one of my favorite episodes, I wasn't playing Jeremy. I think you guys had me playing a gangster hip hop rapper. And I, and I walked in, they had all these lines written out for me to say. And, uh, and then you guys had me uh, critique yes. a little bit on, yeah. on, uh, Is your fart on the hip skills. <laughs> and so I got to go in there and be uh, my rapper self. And it was pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I think mine was the miniature golf episode. There you go. Okay. Thank Thanks. you very much. You're welcome. I'm Justina, and I was wondering for um, I know that Vincent and Caroline and Mitchell were on other shows, and I was you guys wondering... did other shows. <laughs> no, no, um, what, what? it meant nothing to me. No. <laughs> Well, I was just wondering, which one do you prefer better? Both, like, which one did you enjoy more? Voiceover or acting? Like, I have a baby, so my seven minute every two week job is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I love this job. This might be my favorite. Phineas and Fern. <laughs> I feel like they're really completely different worlds in a way. So I, I feel like you, you, you get something from both of them that you don't get from the other in a way. Um, but whereas, you know, like when I was doing Everybody Hates Chris, you know, you get to act on the, thank you, you get to act on like location and stuff on a back lot. Where I'm doing Phineas and Ferb, I get abused by Swampy. So it's, it's different things that you get in the two. It takes it really well. You get directions too. When you're a voice actor, yeah. you get these directions like, okay, now you're closer, farther, taller. Like, taller. <laughs> <laughs> And you get to wear whatever you want, right? Exactly. You can go in in your pajamas or whatever, and you don't even have to brush your teeth, and nobody's gonna. Like, I'm just kidding. And which Kelly never does brush her teeth, or only brush pajamas. We, we, we need to even talk to you about that. We're gonna change that rule. <laughs> <laughs> Oral hygiene. No, but um, also, also in voice uh, work, you get to play characters that you would never be cast for otherwise. You get to play, yeah. you know, like. Uh, little kids, or monsters, or, or really mean people. Well, I guess I could get cast as a really mean person. <laughs> but, but you know, like like scary, you know, I mean different cast, uh, different kind of characters. You get to be a Martian. You get to be a Martian. Mean, 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 mean. That was my favorite yeah. Martian voice, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to be Candace in an episode, which would never have happened in a live action show. I, I don't think you would confuse me at all with Ashley Tisdale. I want to hear your Candace. Well, it was when Candace's voice got really low because of the wild parsnips. So that's me singing that blues song. E B I L B O Y S. Oh, Jeremy, Jeremy, he saved me a seat. Thank you. You up? Hi. First of all, love the show. Always get a kick out of the episodes, every episode. Um, and there was one episode. Uh, that I wanted to ask something about. It was when they made uh, an animation studio and made some, and they had robots doing uh, like directing and stuff like that. So I was wondering if there were any inside jokes about that. No, well, no the truth is that's actually how it works. We do have <laughs> robots and chickens that, uh, that do. In timing, we just cut the sh cut the drawings up in the part and shake chicken bones over and say boom shwati oosh. <laughs> That's uh, that, that's actually how it works. There was uh, there was the uh, the no more notes, which was a little bit of an yeah, inside okay. joke. Oh, there was an inside joke because one of one of our uh, storyboard writers was in a, a particularly brutal note session where and and he was sitting on top of a chair and he said no more notes, no more notes, and then he fell over and it, it, it was and uh, so we had the computer actually on a chair fall over after saying no more notes. So that, that's, 
We hope that he found it fun. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Hi, I'm Andrew, and um, Kelly, I heard that you banned the shark finning in Hawaii. I did. And, wow. Um, yeah, you met my dad this week. Oh, yeah. awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we, um, there was legislation in Hawaii that was just recently passed uh, banning all shark finning, uh, which is awesome, of course, for our, our sharks. Asterian sharks seem they play a really important role in our environment, so thank you for mentioning that. Yeah, and what was it like um, actually thinking of that idea and how it came to life? Like, what did you feel? I am not going to take any credit for actually thinking of that idea or making it come to life at all, because there was a big team of people that went in before I ever got involved. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I've just been a, a lover of the ocean and, and the reefs and, and our entire planet. So anything I can do to help, I'm all in. All right, thank you. Hi. Um, I just have a little curious, I'm a little curious about something. Um, that episode for the Comic Con thing, that seemed a bit short for a Phineas and Ferb episode. Well, that's so not the whole episode, no. It's, so, is it going to be on? It's, like, 20, it's a full half hour. 22 minutes. It plays at a half hour. So, it, is it going to be on TV or something? No, yeah. no, no. no, 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 no it'll be on um, August. I, yeah, I forgot to mention it. It'll be on August 16th. August 16th. When is it? <laughs> August 16th. On oh, August 16th. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, I wonder if you're going to actually going to put it on TV. How difficult Jill's job is, because her job is basically to wrangle us. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. This question is 15 minutes. Okay. Um, I just wanted to thank you guys for making a show that us parents can really enjoy while we sit on the couch next to the My dad came and visit. He said, "My daughter was away and my son was sleeping." He said, "Let's watch Phineas and Ferb." <laughs> um, so my question is, uh, I love the fact that the the Flynn Fletchers are a what's the word blended family, and it, it's kind of cool that there's no explanation for that. But I was just wondering what your inspiration was behind that. Swampy's entire uh, I come from a alternate. Structured. My, my mom is now on husband number seven. Um, What's his I, name, which, Swampy? Which they only have. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's the truth. Um, I'm sure he has a name, but you know, after six, you just go with Seth. It's easier. I, I always came from, uh, from very early on, a family, uh, you know, that had an alternate structure. And it was always a little weird that I never saw that portrayed on TV. It was almost like divorce or step parents was kind of a dirty word. So when we made the show, it was something that we thought, well, you know, at least half the audience is. And I wanted to make sure that that, that was portrayed in a way that was normal and loving and realistic. And I remember as a kid, if somebody had actually said that on TV, I would not have felt so alone and alienated. And we actually had some discussions about whether or not we could use the word divorce when we were talking about Doofenshmirtz and his ex-wife. Again, it was something I thought was really important to say it because there's kids out there feeling like, is it only me that's going through all of this? And it isn't. And to portray it as normal kind of makes you feel like, oh, oh, well, thank gosh, there's other people. Ah, oh, good. So yeah, it was kind of a, a, a very important thing for me to portray in the show. We had several meetings on whether we could say the word divorce or say the word alimony, because we find out that Duvinchmer's finances all his plans with alimony that he gets from his ex-wife. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> she makes more money than him. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, um, my name is Jane, and I'm a huge fan of the show. And I, this is for the whole panel. I just wanted to know if you guys could have any invention or thing that Phineas and Ferba made in real life, what would it be? Giant Sunday maker. Time machine. Oh yeah, time machine. That's my machine. And I was shooting low with that. Yeah. Time machine. Uh, time I want. Machine. I want to get a band back together. <laughs> Just don't want to get a band that's not together back together. Let me have some. Yeah, I'm gonna go get everyone from Led Zeppelin. Yeah. We'll see what happens. 